button there, hit the record button here. And we'll sync everything. <laughs> All right. Hey everybody, Clinton and Mike. Uh, hey. We're continuing on with the uh, moon buggy build and today we're going to fit his cam gear, shiny thing, actually it's used, with his cam. This is an Engel FK7, right? Yes. I remember that. Yeah. Let's see if we can here, point this so you guys can see everything. FK7. If I remember correctly, the FK7 is pretty equal to the other one Engel has is the FK or not FK. I think it's the uh, 110 Engel 110 cam. Um, the difference is this will use racial rockers. I can say that racial rockers <laughs> in the uh, F, uh, the Engel 110. I think is designed to use stock rockers. So um, we'll move on. If you remember in the uh, crank disassembly, uh, I showed you the two uh, dots. They line up with this dot right here. Can you see that? This is the crank gear. You got the two dots I showed previously. That's where they mesh together. That way you know your cam and your crank are clocked or timed together. And what we're gonna do, when we get move along, I'll show you a little trick. Here I got a little paint marker. Actually, I don't know how long this stuff will last because I think it's designed more for glass. Yep, I'll mark that one with blue because Mike said that's his favorite color. Maybe your Monza was blue, wasn't it? Yeah, so it was my first bicycle. Blue and yellow. I think I remember you riding over my house on that. I still have it. <laughs> there we go. So now when you go to assemble this, it'll be easier to pick up and notice. Okay, now we are going to notice the three holes and then the dot. So we got the dot and it's over top of this one hole. And you can see on the cam, it's kind of the same way. It will, the cam will go together this way if you line the bolts up, but that's going to be wrong. You see, there's no dot there. We're going to line it up with the dot. And that'll make sure that the cam is now clocked with the gear. Got that, Mike? Yeah, never knew that. <laughs> All right, make sure these thread is right. Something I should explain while we're doing this. This is just your standard bolt-on cam gear. They do make adjustable cam gear, so you can actually set the timing on the cam. We don't need to do that. Because Mike's not really wanting to go fast. I'm doing the race <laughs> And right now I'm just trial fitting the, the bolts to the cam and everything, but I will use a lock washer. And I like to use the wave washers and Loctite. First time I put one of these together years ago, like one of the first engines I ever rebuilt, I used this, the, actually the washers that came with the bolt and they're little star-like washers with little ends on them. They all broke and I turned my non-adjustable cam gear into an adjustable cam gear because it sat there and, and rocked back and forth and wobbled out the slots. I'm sitting there like, what's that knocking noise? <laughs> I probably should check that out. I took the oil pump off and you could see. All right, let's see how long these things are. These are going to be good. All right, good. We don't have to make a trip to the hardware store. Darn it. That means Simon doesn't get to go anywhere today. <laughs> okay. I think the bolts were long enough, so why am I doing this? Mike should be doing this. So I want you to put some Loctite on that uh, screw. Da, da, da. You want to wash around first? Nope, I want you to actually put a little bit on the head of the screw and the threads. And if you can dip a little on the, the, the surface of the... Yep. There we go. Oh, you're really gluing it on. I don't want them to come loose. Then uh, put this on? Yep, put it on and then... Try your apple. Oh, I may need to pick up on this a little bit. Ah, oh, that one went. <laughs> okay, now do the other, yeah, we'll, do, we'll do them all first. And... Sweet. All right, come on, get them out of there. Loctite will actually work like a lube too, so because we're going to torque them. Oh boy. 
What's the torque rate on these? Uh, I just kind of guess. They're about 24 <laughs> foot-pounds. I figure they're close to 8 millimeter, and 8 millimeter is uh, generally 18 to 24 foot-pounds. Torque them so they're tight. <laughs> Right, so snug them up with the... I usually do it just so they're tight and then they get really easy. Which means I overdid it. I stripped them. I had a case like that was really soft. It was an aftermarket. Okay. I stripped out the bolts on my Nova putting a new alternator on it. Oh geez. Alright, where's my torque wrench then? No, I gotta reset it. I used Slade's uh, suggestion and started putting my torque wrenches down to zero. Keep it off tension. Yep. Okay, so 20, one and a half, two, three, four. Lock her down. Change out. And I'll let you do that. And then we'll, I'll hold it. Wow, my inflation. And all one more time. Yeah, we'll take a good look at it. That should be good. Doesn't look crooked. And that's yeah, pretty simple, but that's pretty much how you put a cam gear on a cam. I know, it's really exciting. <laughs> but yeah, the next, next um, job will be to trial fit it in the case to make sure there's a little bit of end play. Uh, but we got some other things to do, but uh, We'll just show you a little bit before we sign out here. Got the case back. All machine work done on it and some bad news. Um, Mike had to actually get a new case because he took uh, his case home and when he was power washing it he discovered there was a hole. Where was that hole? Right around here? This whole corner was missing. Yep. And uh, we'll <clears throat> insert picture here of what that looked like. but. It's kind of what happens when things sit in in the sand with water in them. It could have been could have been with water in it, and the water rotted it from the inside out, or it could have been the other way. It could have rotted from the outside in. But it's unfortunate. But yeah, our machinist actually has a whole selection of cases, and he got that one around for us. Here's the other goodies. Got a light and flywheel. We lighten it to about 14 foot pounds, and it's balanced. Crank polished up nicely. It's still standard. Um, Rod journals and can and camber no, rod journals and main journals. <laughs> Here's the heads. Um, we decided to keep the 32 millimeter exhaust valves, but we did change out for stainless steel. Um, these are original uh, 30, 39 millimeter intakes. Uh, dual valve springs, chromoly retainers, and ratio rockers, one four to ones. New main bearings, cam bearings, rod bearings, and yeah, everything we need to do is start putting this sucker back together. Oh, the rods. Got those reconditioned on the big end. But yeah, Don, let me know if you need to want to see anything down in the comments. Uh, we're going to actually go and start trial fitting the, the case and the main bearings. But uh, yeah, until next time, keep shifting those gears. We'll see you later. Take it!